Hey, you. Before I start the actual video, I just want to say that I apologize for the shitty mix shit shit video that you're about to see, the quality and the, the footage. It's horrible, the angle's horrible, I don't... I, I liked the content in it because I was very proud of what I created. <laughs> but the angle, the quality, it's just, it was horrible, so I apologize for that. If you ever read my description, I've had the same description for the last few videos, then you would know that I shoot everything on a camera, obviously, on a phone, that I shoot everything on a phone. So I don't really have the best equipment to do that. Now that I've seen people actually subscribing to me, which is amazing, thank you guys who have subscribed to me, that's really encouraging for the stupid videos that I even make. Because of that, I decided that this week, instead of trying to force out two videos, because theoretically I was trying to go for three videos a week, um, I decided to just take all this week to work overtime. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I can afford, hopefully by the end of the week, be able to purchase an actual functioning camera and make the videos better, because I would like to make better videos. Who wouldn't want to make better videos when you get the chance? That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to apologize further in case you guys just dived right into watching it and you're just like, this is... That's horrible. I know it's horrible. So let's just continue on with the video. Hopefully you like it. And that's that. Thank you. Road clip. No, I'm not lying on the floor. Who was the first person to even think of spaghetti squash? That's my first question. Today I'm going to be making spaghetti squash. Any of my family members watching are like, you're gonna make a squash. Yes, I am. And I've never made it before. That's just, I'm just gonna put that out there so if it turns out shitty, I'm gonna make a traditional spaghetti, but with the squash. A spaghetti squash with tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese. It sounds simple enough. So, I mean, if I can make this and it's a success, you can definitely make this at home. So, we're gonna try it. Preheated the oven to 350 degrees because that's what this said and that's what we're gonna do. The ingredients we're gonna use today are talking so slow. <laughs> Spaghetti squash. I got all this stuff from H-E-B. Oh, H-E-B is in the existing new outside of Texas. Well, you know, any whole food market, you can get it. One teaspoon olive oil. Oh, I got olive oil. Chopped green sweet onion, half a cup. I don't have that. I didn't get that. Uh, I got bell pepper, which I'm probably not gonna use because it doesn't even feel right. The two cloves garlic, 14 ounce of canned diced tomatoes, which is 14 ounce canned diced tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, eight ounces. You're also going to need two tablespoons of tomato paste. Now, I got the smallest tomato paste there was, which is a six ounce, but we need two tablespoons. And there's about, there's two ounces for every one ounce. Two tablespoons per ounce, right? Six ounces. So there's 12 tablespoons in here. I'm just assuming. I'm just gonna go ahead and put like this much of the can in there for two tablespoons. First things first, get your squash and cut it in half. Actually, that's not the first thing. The first thing you should do is get a pan to put the spaghetti squash in. So, you probably need this. So, take out your chopping board. You got a pan. It's, it's, uh, it'll do. Put that aside for now, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. Found two knives. This one and this one. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's not cut evenly whatsoever. But it'll do. Here are the insides. You're gonna want to tear out all the insides. Carve it out. Carve it out. 
I don't have a big knife, but I have a big fork. That's that's sad. I know you can't really see this because my camera angle is horrible, but it's gutted out. But just the seeds, because the outsides are gonna be what the spaghetti is. See, I pay attention to things. After you gut it out, your you know thing. You don't want to fill this up with like half an inch, quarter inch of water. Put these face down, and the reason for the water is because you're gonna want it to steam inside here so it can cook quicker. So just put a little bit of water, but make sure you have like a thicker pan. I don't have a thick pan because I didn't buy one because. You're going to want to put these in the oven for about 30 minutes and then check on them to see if it's the texture you want. Some people like different textures. Okay. Another thing you might want to do beforehand is fix your rack. Unlike me, didn't do that beforehand so now I gotta deal with this. So bear with me for a moment. Now I'm not using a shirt because that would be Unprofessional. I almost burned my toes. Now that everything's settled, go ahead and attempt to put these little numbers in the oven. Now we wait for that to cook, and then in the meantime, go ahead and start making your pasta. So now in a large saucepan, this one, you're gonna wanna saute some peppers. Remember that time that I said I wasn't gonna use the bell pepper because it was gross and it was probably no good? Think again. Now you're gonna wanna open up your garlic. I've actually never cooked with garlic before. Now that we got that taken care of, move on to your next step. Look at this little baby one. I'm going to want to add a whole can of tomato sauce. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. Okay. Bring the temperature down on this thing. Add your tomato. Tomato. Diced tomato. And then for the tomato paste, just go ahead and add literally like this much of it. Because you only need two tablespoons. And mix it up. Now what I'm doing is just waiting for this to boil, come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, go ahead and put a lid on it, let it steam for a bit, or simmer, I guess is really the term. don't know what I'm doing. Did I mention we have to wait 30 minutes for the squash? I did, I did mention it. What am I... Oh, okay. We'll be back. Hey, remember earlier when I said once this comes to a boil, to cover it up and then leave it on simmer? I lied. Don't cover it up. You do put it on simmer, leave it uncovered. Fun fact, I'm usually wrong about things. It's not bad. It's been about, I don't know, 45-ish minutes. I did say 30 minutes, but Law & Order was on TV. Let's go ahead and attempt to take this out. We did it! You're gonna wanna go ahead and turn over the squash and then pick at it a little to see if you're gonna like the texture. That's how I cook it in the kitchen. Just grab it. Also, stab it at the bottom. And if it goes through fairly easy, then it's ready to go. Do you see how it kind of comes apart to begin with? So just grab a few, start twisting it. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera down a bit. Is that better? Yeah. And you just start twisting it. Now we'll put it on the plate and I will show you guys how it looks afterwards. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm sorry. And there we go. You have an actual spaghetti, squash, tomato sauce. Spaghetti squash with tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I made this. Here we go.
This tastes like spaghetti. Give me some more. I couldn't even make a grilled cheese sandwich yesterday, but I made this. I'm not putting this down, so I'm gonna just keep this here while I say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a and subscribe to my channel. We're making videos. I'm making. I might be making more cooking videos. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below. If you didn't, or if you want to see something else, I like doing DIYs as well. I just like I like testing out things. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Till next time. This is me signing off with my spaghetti squash. Bye.